So yesterday I was watching on YouTube and it looks like there's a new update for the DJI Neo. Now, usually I always check my fly app first, but the fly app's up to date. So the other way you can do it, guys, is do it for your phone or your iPad, whatever you want to use. I'm just connecting up the drone at the moment to my phone. Because sometimes these updates don't always happen all around the world at the same time, different places. So it's gone straight in there. So I'll just go back into... Okay, there it is. So guys, Persevere, um, there is a new update. So we just install that. So it's not saying a lot really. Optimize positioning performance and fix some known issues. Probably about speaking Chinese is probably one of them. Or as I should say, I've been corrected many times, Mandarin. What I'm going to do, I'm going to speed up the process and I'll come back to you in a mo. So it's finished uh, loading up. Now it's just saying I've got update onto the machine. It's saying make sure you've got 20% remaining on your battery which I have, and the drone has already turned itself off, so I'm going to turn the drone back on. What I forgot to say, guys, if you're using your RC2 as your main device, it will work on there as well, but I'm just using my phone because I find the phone easier for me. So we just could press the button to update that. Okay, so what we do is we come out of that and mow we just reconnect the drone up so this is probably something for those who don't know what happens when you get a problem just follow the instructions guys sometimes these things do happen okay so it's we've got to go back onto the menu retry there retry as they say never give up Now it did say uh, it might take 10 minutes. I can't see it taking 10 minutes, but I suppose that all depends on uh, where you are, I suppose. Okay, it's just saying there, uh, if the device, yeah, the device is just turned off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna restart the drone again. Just turn the drone back on, reconnect. Connection failed, obviously um, maybe a little bit too close. Okay, so we're just going to, oh, no, there it is, okay. Do it again. Right, so here we are. I thought what I'd do is come out, do a quick couple of tests. Just turn on the uh, Neo now. Now I've only got one battery, but I was told in one of the update videos from yesterday, uh, might be worth checking your batteries as well, guys. But because I've only got one battery, I can't do that. So please let me know if you've got more than one battery. Did you have to update the battery as well? Because that doesn't, that helps other people. Anyway. I thought what we'd do, we'd do a couple of tests and we'll just see if it does what it's supposed to do in the can. Drony. Doing a drony. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Circle. Circle. Um, I don't rocket. Want to... Right. Let's do the rocket then. Four meters. Rocket. Three, two, one. Okay. So... It should just go and do a rocket. I've never tried the rocket before, and I'll, I thought I'd come out here into into the wood and just see um, 
what happens. Anyway, hopefully it's taking a video so you can see what's going on with the footage as well. <laughs> I think it said six meters. Okay, I don't know what, I think, I'll take it as finished. Okay, what we're going to do now, I'm going to put my phone on and we'll just see what we can do with the phone. Now, usually when I used to press this, it we used to do the follow. Spotlight, direction track, follow. Okay, we'll do the follow. I haven't got a lot of time to see, this is the problem. Medium, follow. And I want to tr uh, also try out the tracking. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to see if I can just go around here a minute. I've got direction track on now, so... I should have done that. I did the follow. So anyway, see how what happens now. Okay, you come in at the side there. I don't think that's a good idea, you know. Well, you you did pretty well there, I must say. Let's go through here. I mean, it's, don't forget this drone hasn't got avoidance on it, so interesting to see um how it's coping and i'm back on camera now i believe <laughs> okay oh well, that i was impressed with that i'm gonna gonna go forward now okay now stop because I, you don't know that i'm gonna go over this way a bit so <sighs> Okay, it's, it's stopped now. Okay, so I'm hoping that it's got video and it's doing the uh, the microphone as well. I can see the mic on, so that'd be another good test. Get a bit close to that. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that. We got still got fifty percent, which is good. Okay, we stop that. Let's do a let's do a circle. I don't think that's a good idea, but we'll see what the circle's like. Okay, we'll do a, a small circle. Um, yeah, I mean it's got its limitations, but that's to me, to be quite honest, that's pretty good because um, we're doing a small circle. What else can we do? Okay, and what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try out the RC2 because I think it's the RC2 that had the problem. So, back in the mo. Okay. What I've done, I've turned on my RC2, now I've got it in pro, put it back under auto. It's gone straight in there. So this is what I love about this drone, you can use quite a few different controllers. So we're gonna do, oh, just do take off. Okay. Point Let's get to send it out there, Mo. Okay. I just want to see um, what we got. I'm going to send the drone up. Drop the gimbal down. So we've still got good. I've got it on 4K30. I'm going to put the video on at the moment because I want to check because some people I've been hearing they say it's better on 1080 60 so let's go have a quick check on that as well we've got 34 percent so I ain't got a lot of time to mess about okay I'm gonna stop stop that change the 1080 60 okay Okay, I'm just going to send it up. There's one more test I want to try out before I lose complete power. 
So I'm just doing that one now just to see what that looks like. I mean, obviously you can't see it on the screen. It's only when you get back beyond the computer can you test out what that looks like. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and see if we can get the Chinese back. It's Hopefully it's been, it's been sorted. Okay. Let's bring it towards me. Okay. I'm just going to Landing. land it at the moment, stop the video footage. Okay, now, hopefully, we're not going to get any more Mandarin. Manual mode. Three, two, one. So. Home point updated. Okay, it sorted that end. So that, that was, I think that was what the main problem was, was, uh, it was speaking in Mandarin. Right, I'm just going to do one more, and that is put it in sports mode before I lose control completely. Let's drop it down a little bit. Put it over to sports. Okay. Okay. I, I wasn't even looking at the speed then, but we're going to give it another one. Let's have a look. Okay. I think that was about 50 miles per hour, but I won't know because um, I want to keep battery it on. Battery level is low. Okay, battery level. Aircraft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Oh, shh. Oh, 10 seconds. So it's, hopefully it's going to home. It's gonna return to home. So this is another test I wanted to do as well. So one battery, don't forget, guys, I've got. I'll tell you more about uh, what I've been thinking about this drone for about a month soon in another video coming very really soon. And I'll be honest, Okay, it's going up pretty high. That's right. I thought it said 998 feet then, but obviously it couldn't do that. Landing. <laughs> so it's landing. Um, okay, let's well, hope it didn't land on that tree. It seems to be manoeuvring itself back towards me anyway. It's coming down. It's coming down, you can't see it. Landing. Okay. So, it's landed. The beast has landed. So, my final thoughts on the latest update. To be honest, when I was back in the studio and I did a test flight in there, it did take a few moments for it to pick it up, but then that could be my speech. <laughs> Bit of an accent I've got. I've got a Dorset accent. And I can understand, maybe this little thing won't understand all what I say. But when I got outside here, everything seemed to be working fine. I think the main one was checking the RC2 um, because that's when, when you press the forward button, it was speaking to me in Mandarin. To me, no big problem. Um, I will do another test in, in the week with my goggles because to be honest, this with the goggles is amazing and there'll be a video coming out uh, on Friday well can you tell the difference between my Neo and my uh, goggles free and I'm on about the Ifata too anyway as always there's gonna be another video coming very soon mm -hmm.